day one I had the 200 free and the, uh, I had a lot of events, I had 200 free and 100 fly. At first I wasn't even going to swim the 100 fly, but it turned out that I was going to swim it. So, I mean, I swam it and uh, came back in finals, made both, made both finals, uh, swam the relay beforehand, uh, the 200 free, and then in the uh, 200 free, race Telescar, pretty, pretty interesting race. I mean, 143 for him and then 147 for me, best time by a second. Um, and then the 100 fly, I missed the uh, Canadian H2 record by uh, 0.3. So in an event I don't train for, so I mean I'll take it. And uh, then we had the uh, four by one free, so it was good. Day two, I had the uh, 50 free and the 100 back. 50 free went best time in the morning. Uh, went at night, scratched another 50 free to work on the 100 back. Uh, was point one off the Canadian record in the 100 back. So uh, yeah, and then um, day three was uh, 100 free just now. Um, point five off the Canadian record, so. Close, closing out on the continuing records for a 16-year-old, that's pretty good for me, in my, in my in mind. Training long course, like we've never trained long course before, so it's just a huge boost. Like You can tell a difference when all my teammates, like even now, are just dropping time and we're all competing really hard and I mean, it's working out for all of us. Like five of us are on this Team Ontario team, so it's really helping us uh, go best times and everything. It's a, it's a lot better. I mean, it's a learning curve because you get to experience a lot of uh, different competition instead of the usual uh, provincial or national people. So, I mean, it's really interesting to race such like high-talented people from the United States and compare yourself to them. And it's really, it was a really cool experience just to race them.